Good morning, groomers. Um, I just wanted to do a quick demo on how you get a white farm dog's coat clean with your yuppie puppy bath brush. Look at this. He comes in every four weeks, but Ace here loves to farm. So I'm going to get him white again. Um, also, to cut down on his coat being getting so thick, I'm going to try a new shampoo and moisturizer today that uh, Michelle Knowles told me about from True Groom. So I'm pretty excited about that. Seems like their coats are being overstimulated. I don't know. So we're going to try and cut down on some coat thickness, I suppose, with this cool shampoo and moisturizer. So I put a little bit of this shampoo already in my research, and man, is it already brown. The water is already brown. Um, oh, so I already mixed up with my cool infuser from Precision Shark that I got in my groomer's box a few months ago. A couple of pumps. I put in mostly water, and I put, oh, a big old, I don't know, probably ounce, but not better, of the shampoo and swirled it around, but check this out. This is so cool. You can get it right where you need it. It just sprays and sprays. So, like a car wash, we're gonna go with this first. Just, he's got stick tights and everything else in him, but I am not gonna go through and get all that junk out and pre-brush. Not when I'm gonna brush with a yuppy puppy bath brush while I am bathing him. It gets all that debris loosens up so you can blow it and comb it right out. So, whew, he's filthy and he stinks. So, got that stuff on. Like I said, with the infuser, or if you want, I'm gonna take a little pooch bright, just a teeny dollop of pooch bright from Le Pooch, and get this right where I want it to go to brighten up that face. Yes, Ace is a one-eyed dog. See how filthy this is? Oh my goodness. But, since he was wet, and I put the shampoo in the water, in the infuser, put it right on there. It's already soaking up. And his collar, you see how filthy he is. But man, does this loosen up all that dirt and gunk. So I'm not gonna bore you guys because I don't want this to be a long demo, but I just want you to see what this brush does for super dirty dogs. I've had requests for doing big hairies. Well, there you go, guys. Check it out. Yes, you like it, don't ya? You like it. And I'm not even having to stop and add more water. You can if you need to. But between the infuser and this brush, I'm just distributing the heck out of it. And there's plenty of moisture in it. Look at that. And get his back hocks. Yes. Scrub them clean. All those hard to reach areas. Look at you. Look at you. So, scrub those nails. And this is just full of stick tights, but they're coming out. They're coming out in the brush. So, the way that you. Whoo, I have the Save Your Fur nozzle, which I love. This is full of hair. This is full of hair now. So, with my Save Your Fur nozzle or the Jet Spray, if you have one on your brush or on your um, fresh water, you can quickly get that hair right out of there. So, anyway, 
then when I'm done with that first round, to go back through and just make sure it's super, super clean, I'm going to do it with my nozzle and the brush. Yeah. Get that long hair in the back going the right way. Rub up the back end. So. Look okay, at there. Now. Look how clean that is. It's white again. See the stick pipes coming to the surface? I'm brushing them right out. Look at there. There's a stubborn one. But at least I can see them. So, this is not something you guys are going to want to go another spring without. You'll see. I'll do a quick finish of him when I'm done and you can see how beautiful and white he is again. Thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna continue for just a second because what I wanted to point out too is you can see how brown this water is. I mean, it's not completely chocolate milk, but hey, it's kind of a cappuccino. Um, but I'm not gonna go in and bathe him twice because he's clean. When I rinse him off, he is going to be white. So, there's nothing worse than having to rebathe a dog. Uh, especially when you get up and up on the finishing table and you realize that places have been missed where you didn't get deep enough. So, with the brush, that is not even an issue. Okay, and I can feel, like I said, stick tight here and there. But they're coming out because the brush brings them right to the surface. The brush brings them right to the surface. So, okay. I am not shy about the suds on the third room. That's pretty awesome. I know you don't need all those suds, but I do like them. I know he is clean. So, okay. Let's take another quick pause and I'll show you what happens when he's done. Okay. So I wanted to show you a real quick um, partial blow dry and just show you how clean he came. Look at that his collar leaves from his pad. 